I need to make that bathroom a little bit better though, because right now it's kind of boring. Why are you in here? What are you doing? Gosh dang it, now I gotta get a staff door? Just so you can get out of your stupid... Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect here in my super incredible, super awesome, awesome prison of... of, 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 of uh, Jeez, I tripped over my own tongue so hard there. <laughs> Alright, so, last episode, we set up our really quick fix for our insane wing. We've got Andrew Bailey, 35, and Tim Curtis, 26, over here, and they are both chilling it out a bit, you know? They, they're they enjoying their time, so that's good. Um, I did not give them a shower room, so that is going to have to be fixed really quick. So we're going to come over into here, and down, I'm guessing down here we have a small shower room that'll do and we're gonna need we're gonna need a door just right there that'll be the shower room so that's that problem solved so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna finally set up the parole and also the visitation up here in the north end of the prison there's a log sitting up there so what we're gonna do basically is we're going to have all the visitors come in this way, up through the offices. And then all the prisoners will have to take this hallway. And other hallways. So, we were going to need some brick foundation. That's right, we're doing brick. Um, do I have any staff I can hire? I need to have psychiatrists. <laughs> Drist. Um, jeez, I forgot all about them. I guess I can have the psychiatrist's offices down here. I didn't really think of this. So how big is it? It's just a regular office, right? Which is four by four. Yes. So if we come in here, and we need to have that, one, two, three, four, so it needs to be there. We can have two offices. Or if we shift it over, one, two, three, we could have a really tiny hallway. Or, we can do this. Alright, we got that. And then what we can do then instead, is we can have one, two, three, four, and that offers us a three wide hallway, which looks a little bit nicer. So we're going to do that. Three, four. We're going to have four offices to start. So we can plop down. Alright, we're going to do white wall here as well. Just like that. We're going to want a jail door, so if we have to lock down, they are totally safe in here. Uh, it looks like it'll be that type of jail door. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to do a regular door. And then we can have regular door there and there. All right, so now let's get this done finally. Jeez. All right, we need to have our brick building. Uh, I can get rid of the planning. All right, brick building. So we're going to have... <laughs> I don't know, I said I was going to do brick building. Uh, let's see if actually, first, are there any staff I don't already have? Um, teacher, we already have, no need for that. We need a lawyer, so we need one more office over here. But luckily we can squeeze in the lawyer right here. And I think that'll be okay. So th this will be the lawyer's office. Alright, so then we can have visitation right here. And we're going to use booths, because booths are super secure. So the prisoners are going to come in the top side, and visitors are going to come in the bottom. So what we're going to do is, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh my god, it's not even a drill. Who has a drill? Pennington. What are you thinking? That's that's not smart. You've got you've been caught. All right, so 
one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's have two more visitation booths. Just like that. Alright, so this will be visitation then. So that's my visitation. Alright. And then this hallway can come over here and link up like this. Perfect. Look at how perfect that looks. And we can continue it up this way. And we can have a parole hallway over here. And this will be full of parole rooms. We want all the way down because we want to get everybody out of here we can. So, how big does a parole room have to be? Parole has to be 5 by 5. So if we have a 2 wide hallway, or maybe a 3 wide hallway, it needs to be that big. Well, that's wrong. We've already got the hallway here, so it needs to be that big. We can fit four... I don't really want to do that. Alright, so we can fit four parole rooms, and I guess this planning is going to have to be adjusted slightly, because it ends there. We could have maybe more parole rooms on the other side. Hmm. Is four enough? I think four parole rooms is enough, at least for now. If we need more in the future, we can make another parole room. Alright. So. There. Okay, that's four parole rooms. So we can make our brick foundation. And we're going to want it to be this and this and this alright so that's that and we want a concrete foundation to be here okay so that'll be that and we have this section down here done now so we can finish this off as well we're gonna want white walls there and we're going to do tiled white walls inside the offices, because why not, you know? Alright, that works. And then we're going to want to make these um, psychiatrist offices. There. Oh no! What happened? Why is this one so small? Gosh dang it. Ugh. Alright, we're going to have to do that. And we're going to have to demolish walls. Here. Jeez. Alright, so... Psychiatrist's office needs office desk, chair, sofa, filing cabinet. So, we can come in here really quick, and if we look down here, all the things we need are right here. So we need the office desk. We're going to put the office desk right, right there, why not? Office chair. Alright. We're going to do the same over here, stop typing. And then we're going to need the office desk. We're going to need sofas and filing cabinets. So we'll have filing cabinet there and there. And we can have the wide sofa there, there. And anything else? Filing cabinet, wide sofa, chair, office desk. That should actually be enough. We don't really need anything else. I do need a bin in the kitchen, now that I think about it. And we're also going to put a bin in reception. Or maybe actually, we'll put the bins right up here. 
I don't know why I didn't think of putting a bin in sooner. Alright, so we need to also have a shower room over here. And that will have shower heads. And we need some drains. Just like that. That will help get the water out. And we're going to need some utilities for this as well. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, I don't have any water pipes coming this way, though. Hmm. This is predicament. We're going to have to bring this down here. And then hook that up like this. And then the electrical cables, we will bring them down like this. Alright. Build. Looks like they're doing that one first. That's okay, we don't need any of this stuff right away. Although, it would be nice if we could uh, fix this up before the suicide guys come in. Can I speed up the foundation? Please? Please hurry this up, I want to get this done. No, let's get a lamp in here as well, why not? Lamps down here. We can have a light right there. That's perfect. And we can expand these rooms now as well. Uh, psychiatrist office can include those spaces. And we can quick build to clone them. Like that. Interesting. And like that. Alright, do we have a wall built for this yet? In progress. Cued. Alright. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There wasn't a sofa in that room yet? Alright. Sofa is now in there. Alright. That will be the offices all set up, and the uh, lights will go in. The sewer pipes will come in here. This is almost done. This guy is just finishing it up. That's fantastic. So that we can pop up some walls and floors. And we're going to need probably concrete walls here, because I'm imagining that those are not going to build themselves. Um, does it need an entrance? I think it does. Um, I don't really think I need a jail door there. Hmm. Alright. Let's have jail doors there and there. And then we will dismantle these walls while they're all showering. And now they're on free time. Okay. <laughs> you guys almost done over here? By the looks of it, yes. They are just having their... Sh oh! 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 No! How did he get out? Oh, he must have ran out just before the building finished. Gosh dang it. Alright. Shake down. Gosh dang it. You! Solitary for 24 hours for trying to get away. I saw you trying the bolt there. We're gonna do this shakedown right. Alright, um, so we can build these walls. Jesus Christ. Can't believe someone got away. Alright, concrete walls. Oh. You know what, actually we're gonna do these with brick walls.
and we'll have the door for parole smack in the middle. Like this. Alright, so that we can clear the planning for that. And that. Because that's all that's all queued up, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And then we can get our booths here. And we want the prisoner to be on the top and the visitor to be on the bottom. And we can just throw these in. Alright. We can clear out these objects now. Alright, so that's all of that. This dude still hasn't been to solitary because we are still busy searching everything. We have found a knife, a shears, a hammer, a drill, and two syringes. Why are these walls not built? Come on, guys, hurry up. We don't have all day. And what are you still doing sitting there? Oh, he's going back to his cell now. All right. How many orderlies? I have two orderlies. All right. Um, I probably have people who need some medicinal, me medical help, but I don't have anything for that, unfortunately. Do I have enough staff? How many workers do I have? Thirteen? I can afford more, right? We'll have sixteen. Oh, why is the orderly way over there? These guys are way over here, though. I don't even understand. What are you upset about? Suppressed. You are depressed and sick. Yeah, you're suppressed. You guys are fine, but for some reason he feels suppressed. So maybe I shouldn't have a guard deployed here. I feel like that doesn't make them feel any better. Alright, you can leave. Yeah, alright. And... I'll get rid of the patrol here as well. There, you guys don't have to worry about guards. I will... Mm. Nah, that's fine. I don't think they'll get through here, right? Shakedown's almost done, that's good. We can get rid of these annoying things, I guess, because now that the shakedown's done. Alright, whatever. We're gonna put some doors in. Alright, and then we need to have a door here and a staff door there, and that will be our office. Shakedown's done. People are really upset because A lot of searching, and staff morale is low despite the fact that I have this incredible staff room. I don't know what you guys are complaining about, honestly. Are you guys going to use the toilets? Oh my god, he went to use the toilet. Look at that. I love this. <laughs> he went into the bathroom. Oh, that's so cute. I need to make that bathroom a little bit better, though, because right now it's kind of boring. Why are you in here? What are you doing? Gosh dang it, now i got to get a staff door? Just so you can get out of your stupid... Gosh dang it. Alright. We'll put a staff door down here. That way you can get out of there, you little stupid butt. Alright. Alright, we need objects. Objects. Lights. Right now our system is one light in front of both doors. So we can do that here. And, bam, that looks great. Now, lights in here, I'm thinking we're probably going to want one there, one there, one there, and one there, and that. That looks kind of wonky, but we're going to deal with it. And then, light right in the middle of all these rooms, and we're going to need visitor tables, because these are our parole rooms. 
Alright. So yeah, they're just gonna need a visitor table. That should be highlighted. Visitor table. Alright, we have parole setting up now. And people are still getting really angry. Why are you guys all so angry? Spirituality. Freedom. Okay, maybe I should put down some prayer mats. In like... In the yard. So that they can pray. Alright, we're gonna do that. You guys get some prayer mats. Oh, please don't have a riot. That would be really bad. I don't want to end this episode off with a riot. Alright, we need power. Power can come... Up here. And... Across, like that. Okay. And we can have... Visitation. Right here. Was it any needs? It is all ready. All set up. Alright, we can schedule some visitation now. So, if we come over here into programs, um, treatment of drug addiction, led by a doctor, we don't have a doctor, uh, we don't have a chapel, we have a psychiatrist, yeah, alright, one, we're gonna have one for now because that costs money, and we can purchase two psychiatrists to start with. We can always give him a fourth one. We need a filing cabinet. There. Alright, so that's this setup then. So we can have everybody come into here and talk to this guy. It's really nice, there's a really nice lamp, really soft couch, really boxy filing cabinet. It's absolutely perfect. And I think we also want to have our first psychologist. Um, hmm. You know, I didn't think about it, but we can't have our psychologist in here because the prisoners need to be able to get to the person. They are really angry. Like, they are all really angry about everything. Jeez. Um, I don't really know. Hopefully this doesn't boil over. 18 have serious complaints. I need a psychologist. I don't have a psychologist, so that's a problem. We have this stupid gardener. We need to make sure this is staff only. Um, that's staff only. That can be whatever. I don't care. These are insane people only. Alright. We have the common room and the um, other room, so hopefully people should be perfectly happy. And it looks like it is in fact calming down, so with things cooling down in the prison, we finally have our visitation up. Look at all these people with visitation! We've got f five people in visitation. That's fantastic. We didn't have to do a program for that, did we? Wow. That's crazy. Um, we still have no psychiatrist. Why do we have no psychiatrist? He's right here. Psychiatrist. Why do we have no psychiatrist? No, oh, that's the wrong one. It's like this one. There we go, now it's showed up. And we can have two. Because we have two guys. And we have two, yeah, we have two, so that works. Alright. And we are just installing the last of the utilities now. If we just take a look at this. They're getting all that set up. We have parole rooms. Soon we'll be able to set up some parole. And I believe parole is under... Uh, where is parole? Is there a thing you have to research? I don't know. Um, so, prison policy. Ah, that's a good one. I'm going to get that one next. And we're also going to want, um, hmm, well, let's consider getting intelligence view, prison labor. We're going to work on prison labor. All right, guys, 
So that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, we, we got all of our psychiatrist offices set up, and I'm going to give them the awesome padded floor. Actually, we're going to have a padded floor here, but the offices are going to get a very nice carpet. If I can do this, we'll give them a calming blue carpet, because blue is a very calming color. So that will help calm down our our uh, rowdy prisoners. Um, we can actually get some white tiles set up in the shower. And yeah, the prison's cooling down. So guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you all enjoyed. I am having a blast playing this game, and we are getting so many people through visitation now. It's crazy. In fact, I forgot about metal detectors, which is a big no-no. So we're gonna we're gonna plop those there, those there. I don't have any metal detectors here. God, what am I thinking? I don't have any in the common room. I don't have any in the holding cell, which isn't really necessary because if they're gonna go anywhere, we're gonna put one there. We're gonna need to have some there. What am I thinking? We're gonna have one there because we don't want them getting into that. So yeah, that's all sealed off now. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. Now that I have remembered to add the metal detectors, now I'm gonna call it the end of the day. <laughs> Jeez, I'm a mess. And so is this prison, but we're gonna make it better. That's the whole point of this series. Um, I'm going to need to head out now. But before I do, we're just gonna deploy a guard. Um, Oh, shit. Alright, we're going to deploy a guard here in the top half of Visitation. And I'm going to finish this wall. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Look at that. Four days without incident. Look at this. He's doing so good. I'm very proud of him. Alright. Fourth time's a charm. Goodbye. I'm leaving. No stopping me now. <laughs>